Now let us see how do acids pair with metals and non-metals. So here we take metals and here we take non-metals. Again, as was the case earlier with water, it's easy insofar as non-metals are concerned because acids do not generally react with non-metals. Or rather non-metals do not react generally with acids. Okay, now let's come to metals. Now whenever a metal reacts with acid, okay, metals when given a treatment with acids generally result in the formation of any salt plus hydrogen gas. Now what is salt? First question which arises is, what is salt? So what happens is that when you have a metal and an acid, let us take a case of magnesium along with sulfuric acid. So you have magnesium as Mg and you have sulfuric acid as H2SO4. So as I told you, whenever a metal reacts with an acid, in most of the cases, it's not that it is always the case, the hydrogen gas is produced. Now you know what's the formula for the hydrogen. So this hydrogen gas separates itself and turns into gas. So this is gone. And then the metal, namely magnesium, reacts with this, okay, to form magnesium sulfate. This is your magnesium sulfate. Now magnesium sulfate is a salt. And what is salt? Now that question which comes up. So what happens is that whenever, whenever a metal replaces hydrogen in an acid, what is formed is a salt. So salt is a compound, okay, formed when metals replace hydrogen in an acid and then a salt is formed. So magnesium sulfate is nothing but a salt which is formed when magnesium reacts with sulfuric acid to replace hydrogen. So hydrogen becomes an independent element in the process and the balance part reacts with the metal to form a salt which is magnesium sulfate in this case. Now as I told you, normally it's not that all metals react with acid. Some of them may not react also. 